We're going to turn to Japan now. We're one month and a day after the earthquake. The nuclear crisis is officially one of the worst radiation accidents ever. Regulators raised their crisis rating overnight to seven. That's the same rating given to Chernobyl after making new assessments of the radiation leaks from the reactors. Bob Woodruff has been tracking that, and he's just outside the exclusion zone right now with the latest. Ooh. Whoa. Another day, another jolt. Our cameras rolling as the magnitude 6.3 aftershock rattles windows and tests already frayed nerves. Unsettling news, too, at the Fukushima nuclear plant as the Japanese government determines that the crisis has risen from a level 5 to a level 7 accident. The first time that's happened since Chernobyl 25 years ago. Under these situations, I think it's prudent to get people out because once you're exposed to radiation, you cannot undo the radiation. The decision came because the amount of radioactive iodine already released could have widespread health effects. In the farming community of Itate, just outside the exclusion zone, radiation levels have been elevated for weeks. Now the government is ordering residents here to relocate within 30 days. Are you angry about this? I am absolutely sickened, he says. I hate those nuclear plants. Kanichi Hasegawa has been raising dairy cows here for 35 years. He is now forbidden from selling his milk. He cannot even take his animals out because the soil is contaminated. So now, each afternoon, Hasegawa pours his milk into a tank, drives up a hill, and dumps his milk and his profits into a ditch. Now you should know that we're about 25 miles away from the nuclear uh, facilities, but we are not dangerous here because we actually are just going to be here for a little short period of time. It's the people that live here for long periods of time, they're concerned about them, so they can try to get them out of here after about, uh, about 30 days. George? Right, no one has a good handle on the long-term effects. Okay, Bob, thanks very much.